After the recent cassava glut from our backyard gardening, I decided to make this dish, which most of you know. And I know a lot of people are probably expecting me to do fufu, you know, with some light soup and and some boto nani and stuff, you know. But um, I decided to go with cassava and pesi because I haven't had it in such a really long time. And also, I think I missed the the whole experience um, of having it every Wednesday during my time at uh, Infantsman Girls High School. And I, I wanted to get that feeling back, but better because Charlie, fresh cassava straight from the ground. Like, I don't know. Like, I had to have that feeling because... Um, I know back then when we were in school, it wasn't that fresh, but it was delicious, you know. The cassava was soft then, you know, um, and salted. And um, the stew wasn't great. The stew wasn't that great. Um, but we had, we had like some mackerel in the, so and some um, dried fish. And so that was, that was um, passable you know, back then. But I think for me, um, the highlight was the cassava because nobody missed, nobody back then missed um, cassava in contemporary stew um, on Wednesdays when we were in France, man girls. Uh, yeah, so I wanted, I wanted that um, experience again. And you know how, I don't know about you guys, but for me, you know, when it comes to album, usually it's um, the green plantain and PC. Um, or punayam, but mostly it is the plantain, the apim, that I usually go with. So this this for me was nostalgia and also like um, trying something new, you know, and eating fresh from my backyard garden. You know, talk about farm to table. This was a true farm to table experience. And you know, for the vegetables for making abubu, I decided to slow roast it why you know someone will be like oh but it takes such a long time to you know slow roast it over coals i'm like yeah but what's the rush really you know it's really for me about the taste and the and the and the memory of that taste and the experience that i'm creating for myself and and also um slow roasting really retains um all the nutrients you know everything stays in there nothing is lost and you get that smoky, amazing flavor you can't get from boiling the vegetables in kontome, right? Yeah. Um, you know, and our, and our cooking techniques in Ghana has changed over time. You know, we are gradually moving towards what's quick and easy and convenient and in a package in, in some rubber somewhere, you know, on a shelf you know and we are slowly forgetting our ancient cooking techniques like um baking you know in the clay oven roasting pork in the clay oven the flannel um and all these other dishes that you know we're making using the clay pot you know put on potter in the in the clay pots and everyone is, you know, slowly turning to, you know, other other dishes that are quick to make, more oily, more salty, you know, and it's to the detriment of our health, you know. So this for me was was also a reminder to myself to take my time in cooking and retaining, you know, the nutrients in what I cook, you know, um, less salt more flavor using you know a slower cooking technique and um, ensuring that you know nothing is lost everything goes all the good stuff basically goes into my body and my child's body as well yes so it's it's it was such a great great experience cooking this way the kobe was insane like you know slow roasting it over the the coals and then later on putting all the vegetables straight direct on the coal so that they would char 
because cooking them you know over the grate or the grill allows them to you know slowly cook inside so all the insides of the vegetables slowly cook and then i was looking for that char and smoky flavor so i put them straight onto the coal and chale the final taste of this abumue see if you don't taste it yourself you won't understand what i'm saying like uh, it's like i'm talking gibberish you know <laughs> and um yeah i like i had to invite my cousin this is not a meal you can enjoy alone you know it's such a communal meal and once again like we are losing our sense of community as as Ghanaians, you know even in our food culture let's come together and share a meal with others you know so i had to call my cousin she come over let's enjoy this dish and he himself he loved it. i mean he he's more familiar with um eating straight on the farm because that's how he grew up you know but yeah i think he had missed the experience so he really enjoyed it because he was the one harvesting the cassava so he's done a lot of hard work so kudos to you nikwe that's my cousin right there you know so together we shared this meal and we're discussing you know how it tasted you know the nutrients and everything you know and and that's what you know food is about this food is about conversation it's about community you know it's about you know creating that you know family bond friendship bond um that can never be broken by any other thing you know food gets people talking connects two people together it connects other people together and i was so happy i i, I got to do the cassava drive where i shared free cassava to my to my neighbors you know anyone passing like they could pick some cassava and take home and prepare a meal for their family it was such a fulfilling uh day for me when i did that you know a fulfilling time i got to talk to people who they may see me in the area but they never talked to me but and this was an opportunity for them to connect with me and see the feedback i got from them the next day you wouldn't believe it's like I'll just be walking somewhere to go and buy something like, hey, so you know, I'm going to find power. I'm going to find power. I'm going to say, power, why? You're going to be brave. You know? And yes, it was, it was really amazing. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful I got to do this. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.